At Mintz Insurance, we're proud to have been serving our customers for nearly 80 years, offering 30 different insurance products for your auto, home, and business. And to help ensure that you're getting the best rates possible, we give you up to three quotes for every policy, so you can choose what's right for you. At Mintz, we're part of the community, local representatives, supporting events, and proud of it. It's part of who we are. Mintz Insurance. Call today and find out how we can help you save on insurance, or visit us at mintzinsurance.com. The Millville Chiropractic Center, located at 1014 North High Street in Millville, is celebrating 30-plus years of success serving the community. Dr. Beebe, Dr. Doyle, and Dr. Fresh treat a variety of health conditions with a full-service facility, featuring x-rays on site by a licensed radiographic technician, computerized muscle analysis, chiropractic manipulations, rehabilitative exercises, and a diet and weight loss program. Call their friendly staff at 856-327-0320 for an appointment today. Thunderbolt Area Federal Credit Union is your hometown team. Welcome to Quinn Broadcasting. Again, this is Tony Trongone, Superintendent of Public Schools, here with high school assistant principal Jason Kessler. Welcome, Jay. Thanks for having me, Tony. Ah, it's a pleasure. So you're here at, on Wheaton Field with our mighty Thunderbolts against the Hermits of St. Augustine Prep. And we're about to have the kickoff, and uh, kicking off is... Jaden Reynas. Whistle already. Well, they decided to change to our senior Nate Robbins to kick off. That's interesting. Must be like a chess match. Some type of equipment issue there to start the game. The Robbins pooches one up in the air. And over in. And Ren received by number 22, Franklin Sims. Up the sideline, tackled by a host of Thunderbolt tacklers. And they're going to start on about the, the uh, St. Augustine 32 yard line. It's going to be imperative, Tony, for our defensive front to really stand their ground against this massive uh, prep offensive line. Uh, Watching them warm up, you, you commented number 72, Gavin Kennedy, the offensive lineman, 6'5", 290 pounds. Uh, definitely a load. It's going to be a challenge for us to keep them off our linebackers. Yeah, twins right, slot left, single back motion this way. Safe tilts over the top. Little screen. Pass complete to number four, Nasir Hill. I think it's to about the 39-yard line. Hill is a Princeton commit. That's going to be second down at about four yards. Quarterback for, well, for the prep is Thomas McClear. Yeah, he's, he's thrown for about 358 yards passing so far, but... Uh, Kanye Udo is their bread and butter uh, with rushing for all area, 644 yards rushing. Another little underpass. Complete the number right. eight. Right. Riley Lisker stopped by our Thunderbolts. Brian Hunter with the tackle. So we'll still have about second and a long three. A third and a long three, I'm sorry. So Riley Lesgar is out of the game, number eight. I missed that one, Coach. Yeah, so did I. Unfortunately, it looks looks like a penalty against our Thunderbolts for face mask. So now we'll start first and ten on the Millville. 46 yard line definitely cannot have as many penalties as we had the, the previous game against Shawnee there was 33 combined penalties for both teams hope for a much cleaner game today yeah we had 18 penalties for 145 yards last time so 
Udo is with the carry. He'll be tough to bring down. He, he got a first down with his first carry. Definitely cannot let him get to the second second level into our linebacker's secondary area. So now we're on the 31-yard line. That was a 15-yard gain by Udell. First, first down and 10. On our de defensive line, we have uh, number seven, Elijah Edwards, number 56, Jaden Wright. I believe number 54, Kevin White right now. In our defensive front, Nothing. White with a good push there. Great play by White and Jaden Wright as well in there. And of course, your favorite, number 21, yeah, Kenyon I, German. I haven't asked about my key of the game. I think it's going to be uh, German shooting those gaps and, and getting those uh, lost, you know, yards behind scrimmage. You yeah. know, he makes a lot of uh, tackles for a loss. So now it is, uh, it's, a, it's about a loss of about, uh, probably no gain. So we got second down. And 10 yards. Yeah. Spread spread here. Single back. Clear drops back pass. Completed to Hill. Finally forced down by number 17 for our Thunderbolts, uh, Lozier Brooks. So we're, it looks like we're going to have to press on that, on our on their receivers. Yeah, we're playing a little bit too loose on them, allowing them, you know, essentially those screens are running plays. It's nice to see such uh, support from our, our fan base, our student section, you know, dressed with construction worker apparel today. That was the first down. We'll start on the 20. That was an 11-yard pickup. Got 9.56 left in the first quarter. Motion left to the trips. Going to Udo, stretch out to the left-hand side, upended. By Mr. Brooks again. Bring a second down and long again. Coming to the game, number 57, Darren Black Lauchowitz. Played a lot of offense for us so far. This season, I know the offensive defensive line coaching staff very excited about him. Called him a dancing bear this week. Back again, we got to get pressure on the quarterback. Oh, uh, we lost running. outside leverage. Got a flag on the play. He runs out of bounds. That's that's going to come back, I believe. About the five yards be holding. See what the, the officials indicate here. Let's hope for our Thunderbolts is a holding penalty. That'll be a drive killer if it is holding. Right now it's second and ten. Referee signals. No signal yet to us. Holding on the defense, so it's, that's coming back. Holding on the offense, right? Yep. That'll be, and that'll be second down and about 20. And a decent crowd here at John Barbo's Stadium on Wheaton Field. We got the kids dressed up in different regalia. That's going to be second down and a. Oh, that it's going to be second down and twenty-five. The fifteen-yard pounding. Now this this is what plays to our speed. Unless they want to give you a, a chunk, they want to give him a yard uh, a run. So trips trips left, motion left. We're gonna go run that left left side again. Drops oh. back for pass. Oh. Hits number eight, Riley Liscar. He's a senior wide receiver. Well, that was a pickup of 15. Definitely throwing the ball a lot more than what we uh, ex expected uh, and in previous games. Yeah, the head coach of St. Augustine is Pete Lancetta. Uh, Pete, Pete comes from, you know, from years Hamilton. ago was a Hamilton uh, primarily wing T coach, then went to uh, Rowan University as an assistant, and has been at the prep here for several years. 
So they're well coached. Edmonton had a really good reputation. Absolutely. Very, very tough. Always had big, thick hog mollies up front. Single back. It's going to be four down territory. Drops back to pass. Back shakes off the safety. Well, we got beat on that. And touchdown by Nasir Hill. The Princeton commit. So not the start we were looking for, but uh, what's happening here? Is this going back? It's fourth and ten. Thank you, Ricky. You're the man. So they're going to kick a field goal to fourth and ten. So I thought that was a complete. It's like a little glaze in the, in the glass here. I apologize. So they're going to kick. It's going to be a 37-yard uh, field goal. Low and no good. So after the series with 7.49 to play, Millville will take over after a missed field goal by St. Augustine. So I, that's a pleasant first drive for us to, because uh, I thought that I, from scouting St. Augustine, it looks like they were going to pound the ball. They're, you know, they're, they're shotgun but wing tee, but run the ball down the field, get, get it in chunks, and it looks like they passed on us because our corners were playing soft. And, uh, and uh, we took advantage of uh, that drop pass in the end zone. And now our Thunderbolts will take over on offense. Yeah, we expected to see a lot of power and counter tray there, but saw a lot of, you know, screens and, and waggles. So we got the we got a uh, trips left, slot right. Looks like the freshman Brown is in the backfield. Ah, uh, fumble. Nate, Nate Robbins with the recovery. That'll set us back about four yards. It'll be second down and 14. Speaking of going in a Nate recovery there, one of his goals this week was to have no turnover, so I'm glad he got on that ball. Still have as an opportunity to reach that goal. Tyon Cephas in the game. LaQuint Allen in the backfield. LaQuint had... 33 carries for 301 yards and five touchdowns on the ground uh, two weeks ago at Shawnee. Yep, he's better than Al Bundy with, with that, those touchdowns for sure. <laughs> and he, he also had three receptions for 31 yards and a touchdown. So six touchdowns on the game. Looks like Coach Thomas is audible and after he's the defensive set. Paper. The official forced a substitution there for, okay. uh, for, for us. Uh, number eight, Kalen Bowman, now in the game split split wide. Robin's back. Mm -hmm. That'll be third down in 14. The pass was intended to tie on Cephas. Having a veteran quarterback like Robbins in, this, in these situations is, you know, a, a blessing. So we're in a spread offense, single back. Now we move trips left. See if it's moved over on the near side of the field. Usually I like to do a little underpass here. Cephas with the catch. That's a first down. And we're on the Millville 40 yard line. 22 yard reception for Tion Cephas. Hurry up, offense. We're on the 40. Get the ball to Allen. St. Augustine keyed on that. No gain. Second down, loss of about four yards. Crowd's getting loud. Tried to cut block on that on that play. The offensive line did didn't really get into the defensive line they wanted. Number 55, uh, Brady Small is definitely not small. It's 6'2", 
285 pounds as he's pressuring Robbins. Robbins risingly throws it away. And that's what, what you do when you're a veteran. So it'll be third down and 14. We're slowing it up now. We're going to look at the play as we want to hurry up. Third down and 14 with six minutes and 13 seconds left in the first quarter. There's no score in, in the game between Millville and St. Augustine. So we have five-yard penalty. Potential grounding. Robbins need to get a little bit further outside the tackle box. Bring up third down and 19. Well, more than that now, it's third down and 25. That's a 10, 10 yard penalty. I thought it was five. Loss it down. There's no loss it down here. It's not like the pros. We got trips right. We got zero backs here. We're going, we're going for it. Pressure by small. That's a sack by number 55. Brady Small. Brady Small with the tackle. We'll bring in the punt team. Six minutes left in the first quarter. Now they'll bring in the punt team. They are a big team, that's St. Augustine. Yeah, absolutely. With Brady Small at 285 and Rob Addison at number 33 at 6'2", 270 on that defensive line, they provide a lot of pressure. Good snap, gets the punt off. A short punt out of bounds. The prep uh, takes over with good field position. Well, it's funny, they had the, uh, the quarterback, Thomas McLear, back to receive the punt. So with 518 left in the first quarter, the prep will take it first down and 10. I'd like to thank our sponsors. We have uh, Mint's Insurance. We didn't mention them last time. and uh, We were at the Shawnee. We didn't have our papers with us, so I apologize yeah. about that. Mint's Insurance of Bob Connor and Casey Young and Rob Connor, a family-owned business. We recently merged with the Waltman Agency and great insurance uh, needs uh, throughout the uh, greater Cumberland County area of Millville for years. Thank you. We got Twins right, slot. A little ISO to Udo. Uh, that power power kick out the pool with two two guards, and Udo had a lot of room. That's what I thought was where I saw a lot of that first drive is uh, that ground and pound. Yeah, that big uh, big offensive line by the prep getting them out, uh, you know, in front and pulling them definitely uh, dangerous. Be second down in a long five. Need a big play here by one of our uh, interior defensive linemen. Hands some pressure in there. That, oh, got to wrap up. Finally brought brought down. I believe that was by number five, Solomon Massey Kent. Jaden Wright was in. Yeah, he backed him up a bit. It definitely, you know, impeded his progress and allowed our linebackers to get in there. The third down and still uh, about a long five yards, six, third and six. Twins, uh, we had spread offense, single back. A little sh a slant pass. Uh, Nazir Hill. And, and the official <laughs> signals touchdown. St. Augustine Prep. Nazir Hill. 24-yard pass from a clear to Hill. 
With 4.16 left in the first quarter. Said in the pregame, this is going to be a humdinger of a game. It's going to go back and forth. This is not going to be a, you know, a high, you know, might not be a high scoring affair. Well, well, for high school games, the, the, the last year, this was a tight scoring game. It was a 22 21. So. Kick is good. And with 4.16 left in the first quarter, score is St. Augustine 7, Millville 0. We'll take a commercial timeout. For banking, which is small town focused and customer based. We know you and we are for you. Thunderbolt Area Federal Credit Union is a nonprofit and federally insured. Solid as a Thunderbolt airplane, we are your team. Thunderbolt Area Federal Credit Union, 1601 Cedar Street. Hi, I'm Bob Millard, President of Thunderbolt Area Federal Credit Union. Come see us and experience banking as it used to be. It's a sad. And now, back to the game. And we're back at the Millville St. Augustine football game with the score 7-0 in favor of St. Augustine. Uh, the, uh, short punt on Millville gave uh, the prep a good field position and they uh, had a touchdown pass from McClear to Hill. 24-yard pass. Back deep to receive for Thurbos and Lazier Brooks. Tajir Brown with the ball. A good contact. We're at about the 27, 28 yard line of Millville. So it'll be first and 10 with four minutes and nine seconds left in the first quarter. Coach Thomas is uh, hoeing up his offense, giving him a pep talk. This drive definitely need to stay out of those long yardage situations. Unlike, you know, probably going to see some, a, a case of uh, LeQuinn Allen. Yeah, but right now they got well, they got seven guys in the box. And three down. So we're going to key on Allen. Trips. But we need we need a play from our receivers to just to loosen things up. You can tell it's Allen up the middle. For a game of about five yards, I think that's going to be the key to the game. I think Coach Thomas said we're going to run it down their throat. We'll get the big boys from the prep tired. Here goes trips, trips left, single on the on the side, motion to near side of field, single back. Uh, we're going to be a legal procedure on Millville. So the penalties are going to kill us. So it should go back about five yards. That will be third down and second down and ten. Looks like the prep is uh, walking up that linebacker uh, and putting in a four-man front. To make to make us throw the ball, yes. That's why I think Hale Cephas, the number five uh, Dennis ja uh, Jaquez, I believe his name is, uh, going to Northwestern has twenty eight tackles uh, so far this season for the prep. See him walked up there on the line. Spread offense, single back. Second and ten, fake handoff. So the prep is not going to prep is not going to uh, bite on those uh, 
play action. Now, uh... Robbins dropping back to pass. Has number... Oh, right, right off the, the hands of number three, Thomas Smith. Broken up by a, one of the prep defenders. Bring out fourth down in the punt team. Yeah, this is... The, definitely need, you know, no matter what in this drive, we need to get good, you know, pin them back here, not give them, you know, good field position. I think the week off is uh, playing a little bit into it. Uh, you know, any anytime you have a bye week, it's you know, and then you have a tough game. It, it's a double-edged sword. It's, it's beneficial that you you get the rest and get healthy, but so early in the season uh, is never a good thing. I think the Thunderbolts now have 11 and back to, to punt and it's, uh, Mr. Robbins. Uh, high punt, high punt, not very far. See if I get the it's a sideways bounce. We'll take it right on the 45-yard line of St. Augustine. We have a, with 2.15 left in the first quarter, to score the prep seven. Millville, zero. So also for our sponsors, we have Advanced Treads. Advanced Treads with uh, Ron Durham, always a, you know, Great quality work at Advanced Treads. Also a very uh, active member of the Millville Thunderbolt Club uh, and always supports our Millville Athletic Program. Uh, Ron Dorm does a great job uh, with you know, your new tires as well as you know, retreads. So the prep has the ball on their own 45 yard line. It looks like a little, little bit this week on defense. We got number uh, 58, George Gonzalez, playing a little bit more line, not just offense, but playing some defense and giving a little bit more size in the interior there. And number six, Kanye Udo, the six foot, 205 pound uh, senior with offers from uh, Maryland, Nebraska, and Rutgers on carry. Looks like German shot the gap on a blitz, and they ran to the left of that blitz. It's a, it's a, you know the the three five uh, or stack three three defense that we run. It's very important with that those linebackers to you know to maintain their gaps. Uh, and we got motion, That's and we got that power kick out uh, there. With a motion man, you pick up Udo a, with the category again for five yards. Second down and five. So we got Jerron Hale at corner. We can also see this on the far side. So we see how they're going to press. Because it's like they can give it to you though, because they think they can get a five yard clip from him. You definitely want to see where you know is uh, lining up the backfield. If he's directly behind the quarterback, if you're looking for a stretch or zone in here, you know, power counter tray this motion, yeah, and then we have that guard right. pulling. <laughs> they did. They said we're gonna just run that same play the other side and pick up a first down. Yeah, the, you, you pull, you bring the motion and then pull, pull the guard. You're trying to outflank you. Thunderbolts I need to, to stay disciplined here on this drive. Really dig in, have some energy. Thirty-five seconds left in the quarter. You know, Coach Thomas mentioned in the press this week about you know there could be up to you know 14 scholarship athletes on the on the field today between both schools, um, and that makes this definitely you know the game of the week in South South Jersey and you know the tri-state area. 
All right, so we're going to cut to a commercial timeout with a change of, uh, of quarters. We'll be right back. Smiles are everywhere. Happiness in joyful times with all the love and care. My children to complete care because we are a one-stop shop. We use dental, we use medical. I feel as though the quality of care here is great. I love working here. I feel great to work at a place that serves the community. There's a lot of people in need. To me, patients, serving patients means we've been in your shoes. We know what great care means to us and we want to provide that for you. It's time for Thunderbolt football. Let's get ready for kickoff. We're starting the second quarter. It'll be first down and 10 on the Millville 33 yard line. Motion to the right. Another underpass again, and we're going to come up and tackle. Oof. So this is what hurts us because that's a pickup about five yards again. So they're getting, they're chunking us at five yards and then Udall can get five yards just for how big he is. So it's, yeah, so he, he's very patient runner too. I mean, he really reads his blocks well. I mean, just like our, our running back, Quinn Allen, and does a really good job of being patient and, you know, you know following their, block, their blockers. You know, they pull those big guards that they have. Um, but these these screens are, are definitely, they're essentially running plays that, you know, yeah, but they're beating us at our own game. Our strength is speed. We got twins left. That's going to get motion right again, probably. What? No, they're not. Motion right, and you'd all run right. And it goes just pad level way, way too high uh, right now for the Thunderbolts. It'll be a first down. They'll pick up about six yards. So we got to make a play. We got to make a play here. Time of possession has definitely been in favor of the prep. A little under 11 minutes left in the second quarter. Score is seven to nothing in favor of the prep. They come out. On, our, on the Millville 20 yard line. Nice play by German. Just got Does a wrap. German was there. He just he wasn't able to secure the wrap. You know, a, a lot of other running backs, they, they get him in the face, they're going down. But uh, this, is a, this is a D1 running yeah, back. This is a Division one have. running back. So we definitely need to wrap up and, you know, get 11 hats to the football. So we have about second down and three. Pick up of seven yards by Udo. Used to call it gang tackle. You need to gang tackle. Yeah, you, you can't know. say it anymore. I can't say a lot of things. No, I know. I don't think you're allowed to say bomb anymore. I'm not messing around. It's probably a go pattern. We grew up. So, twins left. Need to get lined right. up here. Motion they're going to run, gonna run left. Yep. Going to run left. Oh, up the gut. Man, he is. Takes it to the five yard line. First down. Pick up of about, oh, about eight yards. 9.24 left in a half. Millville sideline is quiet. Somebody's got to put a hat on the ball to get the ball on the ground. Right now, the, pre the prep's having their way, pu pushing us around up front. We definitely need to lower our pad level, dig in, and allow our linebackers to, you know, see clearly into the backfield. So the prep calls timeout, and we'll go to a commercial timeout.
What makes Inspiro innovative? The latest in surgical robotics. What makes us indispensable? Our nationally acclaimed breast center specializing in reconstructive surgery. What makes us incomparable? Our national award-winning and comprehensive orthopedic center. It's in the people. It's in the legacy. It's in the network. Inspira Health Network. In it for you. Need something fixed? And now, back to the game. And we're back to the Millville St. Augustine football game with the score 7 nothing, And St. Augustine's on a, another drive. They're on our own five-yard line. And it looks like the prep will utilize their D1 prospect running back, Kanye Udo, for another run. If four if downs. If, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yep. In philosophy. That motion, following that motion, get to the ball, forces him out of bounds. Kalen Bowman, number eight. Pick up of about a yard. Clock stops at 8.50. Preps doing a nice job of keeping the, the high-powered Thunderbolts offense off the field. So you you think where do you think the ball's going here, Tony? <laughs> I think uh, this this uh, Lance said is not a he, he's not a Hall of Fame coach for nothing. Could be, could go an underpass real quick, but I think it's two set back open backs. Motion on the outside. Definitely no, a wing to set good. Oh. Oh. Stop up. Upended there. Quinn, LaQuinn Allen with the yep. tackle behind the line of scrimmage. We needed that. Somebody to make a play. That'll be a loss. Loss of about two yards. Be third down. Third and five. Or third and goal. This is a pivotal drive here. They got two downs here to stop them. Yeah, you definitely don't want to, you know, go down two scores against a, a team like the prep. The you know, same thing with with us. You don't want to go down two scores. So definitely need to be trading shots back and forth. And St. Augustine gets a little confused. Well, again, we'll go to another timeout. We'll be right back. Tour Hardware and Garden Center, your best bet for reliable and lasting repairs. For over 30 years, Latour has been the expert in small engine repairs, lawnmower repairs, blade sharpening, screen and window repair, glass cutting, generator maintenance, and power tool repairs. Latour services all major brands, and whether you visit the store or take advantage of Latour's pickup and delivery service, you'll know your job is being done right. Think hardware, think Latour Hardware and Garden Center. Come on in and get started. And now, we're back, back to the game. To the Millville St. Augustine football game with the score seven nothing third down and five. Millville made two good stops. Good, good behind the line, of, uh, behind the line of scrimmage tackle by LaQuint Allen. We have eight minutes and three seconds left in the half. The prep comes out slowly. Looks like it's gonna. You think it's gonna be a pass play? You got open back. Could be if they're going to pass here, they're going to go to the traditional wing T waggle play here. Yeah, sprint out. Yep. There we go. Throw back. Pass complete to number nine, Kenneth Selby. Selby. Had a big game the previous week for the prep. That's a five yard score from a clear to Selby. Score 13 to nothing with 7.56 left in the game. Millville crowds quieted up a bit. We're gonna to have to get gotta get loud. We got faces painted, hair dyed. We got some school spirit going on. Really cool student section. Look forward to our band during the halftime. 
absolutely under the, the direction of uh, band director Rob DeSantis. Great show every every week. Had their the highest score uh, of the first band competition uh, in the last 20 years. And they kick by number 39, Brandon Bisbo. It's good. The score is 14 and nothing in favor of St. Augustine. And again, we'll no, we'll take a we'll take a commercial timeout. Are you ready to find your fit at Rowan College of South Jersey? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to find my fit in human resources, in engineering technology, in healthcare. With six divisions that include more than 100 degree and certificate programs, RCSJ gives you the choice to find a future that fits your goals. Visit rcsj.edu forward slash enroll to start today. It's time for Thunderbolt football. Let's get ready for kickoff. Seven minutes and 50 seconds, 56 seconds. That's in the second half. And we're looking for a spark here from our Millville Thunderbolts. Kicks it. It's believed in number four, Tajir Brown. Really looking not to kick it to Brooks. Ball is down on the 30 yard line. And now we're looking for a play. As they always say, somebody's got to make a play to put us back in the game. I think you're going to see a, a healthy dose of Laquan Allen on this, this drive. Well, he did run the ball. Got some chunks. The freshman Brown is wide. Cephas in the slot. That spread. Hale out wide. Official timeout. Yeah, New uniform, a, I believe. Yeah, we've it's had, a knee pad. Yeah, we've had about three or four stoppages or changes of player uh, plays so far by the officials really enforcing the uh, uniform rules today. Here we go. First and ten. We're in our typical spread offense. Oh, the freshman Brown is open. Pass. It's complete to tie on. Cephas number 16. Cephas is just so dependable. Uh, you, you see him in school. Uh, he's one of the office workers for our guidance department. Just such a great kid. It's nice to see him be successful on the field. Some tempo there. Throws the ball off to Brooks. Oh, oh right off his hands. It was Cephas, not Brown, with the, with the, with the catch. And there was a drop by Brown. He's second down and ten. I'm going to put my glasses on. Have a penalty with... A little quiet on the thread, too. We haven't had too many people comment. Things are quiet in, in the Holly City right now. Waiting for the, the direction of the penalty. And walking it back. Killing us. Five yard penalty. So now it's to be first down and 15. Look, for, look for Brooks here, the, the, the number 17 fresh to shake off the, that last play. Hand off to LaQuinn Allen. A, f a flag on the play. I think this one's going to go against the prep. A little bit what they call the business. Uh, it looked like uh, they are not. They are playing the, the freshman Brown tough. Uh, 
and we'll walk it off. It's a 10 yard penalty be first down. On the near side of the field, the temperature is about 72 degrees. Balmy for this time of the year. Trips right on the near side. Coach likes to run out on the near side. Little tough handoff there. No gain on the, on the. Try to run the trap play there with the uh, number 55, uh, Edison Andino. Uh, Talked to Coach Wickford this week. Really, you know, they have a debate on who, who likes to pull better. You know, is it is it George uh, Gonzalez or is it spread offense? Robbins checking out the defense. Hit the play to Allen. He's out. The uh, third down and ten. Just noticed uh, checking in the game at, at guard, normally a, a tackle. Uh, number 51, Taim Mitchell uh, in there for George Gonzalez. And then at that left guard spot. Trips right, hail to the left, single back. Probably a little under screen to Allen. Yep. Pump, fake. Catch by Brooks, gets him in the open field. All right. Nice play. Get, see the Thunderbolts rushing down to the, the sideline. Thunderbolts. Look to see LaQuinn Allen. Powers way in. Signals good. Touchdown, Thunderbolts. With five minutes and 43 seconds left in the first half, the Thunderbolts now have gotten the board. Score six to 14. Jaden Rain is back to kick. And the kick is good. So with five minutes and 43 seconds le left in the first half, Thunderbolts seven, the Hermits of St. Augustine 14. And we're going to take a commercial break. I'm Bart Feldman, and this is TNF Camera. We are a full-line photographic studio and camera store. We invite you to come in and take a look at the products and services that we provide, from youth sports, high school sports, school pictures, and a wealth of photographic equipment. The advantages of coming to a store is you have the ability to talk to people and see exactly what you want to purchase beforehand. It's TNF Camera, 1362 South Delsey Drive here in Vineland. And now, back to the game. And we're back. What it's now with five minutes and 43 seconds left, Thunderbolts are now on the board, seven to 14. I want to take this opportunity to thank one of our sponsors, all attention all bolts. If you need to get any bolts or lawn or home garden needs, go to Latour's Hardware at 1607 South Delsey Drive. Sorry about that. Kickoff. Is it, it's, a it's a wobbler. Loose Good. ball. Stay in our lanes here. We got a wrap. St. Augustine with 5.36 left and a half. Takes the ball. On the... 24 yard line and you were saying about our sponsor sponsor Latour's hardware at 1607 South Delsey Drive all bolts uh, go get your bolts at Latour's hardware 
And also uh, Ideal Vision Main Road Shopping Center in Vineland. He is the I in Millville Public Schools. I, Dr. Nice Guy. So hopefully, you know, Tony here uh, with the bolts now getting on the board. Defense ratchets, you know, it up a little bit here. Gets a big stop and play going to this half with a tie score or up would be you know, all the momentum going Thunderbolts away. Yeah, there, we got some wind in our sails right now. Motion right. They're going to run that play to the right again. We got to wrap it up there. Uh, we got a, a little business between number 72. Uh, I could be missing Young German. Could be mistaken on the, the the first series, defensive series. I don't think we had uh, Laquin Allen in on on defense. Um, past couple series we have and definitely, you know, a, a playmaker for us. Be second down in about about five. See if this is in the game. Relaying some of the coaching instructions to the defensive line from the sideline. Let's see if this is a, you know a, a consummate professional with you know, how he does things and carries himself every day. Motion trips now on the right side. They're going to get split that bunch on the left. Gonna Drops back long. pass. He's, uh, he's wide open. Incomplete. Thank goodness because number eight. Riley Liskar was wide open, so we gotta we gotta stay uh, tighter coverage on those guys. So it's 4:31 left in the half. It'll be third down and four, and uh, I'll be uh, coaching from the sideline, and I'm gonna say they're gonna go with that that power, that motion with power to Udall, probably to the open side of the field where he's got room to break some tackles. And this will probably bring one of these guys to motion this way. They're in spread offense. Nope, they're going to pass. He's going to tuck it. they got to contain him. Got to keep that Edwards outside shoulder, over. Edwards. Oh, oh, oh. The lineman, the linesman was right on the line. If this was an illegal hit, they're, and we get a throwing, flag on the play. They're throwing the flag because of the business after the play. But the linesman was on the line and saw that the hit was inbound. He would have thrown the flag earlier. So the flag isn't for the late hit. Coach Thomas is a little upset. We're going to have to hire a get-back coach. So that could swing momentum their way. Referee saying, you go your way, they go their way, cool things off. To this highly contested game between number two and number three in South Jersey. Coach Thomas is talking to his, his team. Bolts winning the last two games uh, by uh, combined three points. Three points. Yep. So uh, this is... Definitely has the makings of a, another close game. So 421 left in the half. We'll stay. We'll stay with you. We also have a sponsor, TNF Camera Shop, 1362 South Delphi Drive in Byron. Welcome them as our sponsor. And also, again, we'll we'll take it around to Mints Insurance, right? Absolutely. We've been a great supporter of, of, the, of the Thunderbolt programs. And Bob Connor. So this, this is a good thing to do. It's calm everyone's uh, demeanor right now, get the talk. Yeah, officials definitely don't want to lose control of, of, of the game uh, anytime you have a play near the near the sideline it's a wise decision to you know separate both teams and then you know meet this is taking a little bit longer than the normal the one lines judge saw that the hit 
was not out of bounds. Oh, so uh, personal foul. It's going to call on us. No, uh, no, 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 no. He walked down that line, never threw the flag until things started getting a little busy on the sideline. Now he's going to give an explanation to our coaching staff. And one. they're definitely not happy with that. that yeah. the, the, the rationale behind that one. And now the ball will be on the Melville 45. The Phil Melville fans aren't happy about it either. Four twenty one left in the game. Not in the game in the half. <laughs> Hermits have that H back there looking for him to trap here. The pool comes around on the left hand side. Udo breaks free. Tackled by Kenyon German. Pick up a five. The prep is uh, using that clock. Four minutes left in the in the half. Coming up on it. You know, definitely time of possession in this game is in favor, favor of the prep. You know, in all our other games, it's been a fair, fairly even. But this one, I don't have the exact numbers. You know, down so far in the half, but it's definitely been a one-sided affair when it comes to the time of possession. Karen Walker in the slot. Been a good lead blocker for Udo. Block it again. They're out. Throws it oh, up. That's anybody's ball there. We got a flag it. in the back in the backfield. That's usually holding. I see this com coming back. And we have the, uh, the chain gang moving to one spot, and the other half of the chain gang staying where they're at until they get an interpretation from the referees. Referee picks up the laundry. There's a much shorter conference there. Calls holding against the prep. And an offsetting, uh, offsetting penalty scores. So it'll be a first down for the prep. Three minutes and 22 seconds left in the half. We also want to thank Rowan, Cal Rowan Co College of South Jersey Cumberland Campus as our sponsor. Uh, Complete Care and Spear Health, Allen Associates, the Quinn team, Jim Quinn, Bruce Cooper, Joe Pepitone, Evan Perez, and Quan Bole. Right for the Millville City Commission. Uh, it's first down and goal to go on the seven yard line. Uh, we're going to see Udo again here. And they pull again, running that power play, untouched in the end zone. Seven yard touchdown run by Kanye Udo. Score right now 20 to 7 in favor of St. Augustine. Again, penalties are killing us. Nobody said, Tony, that this game was going to be an easy, easy one. That's for sure. That's for sure. But nothing in a life that's worth having is is easy. That's for sure. Brandon Bispo, number thirty, right in for the kick. The extra point. Kick is good. Three twelve left in the half. Score twenty one seven in favor of Saint Augustine. And we'll take a commercial timeout. Getting the 
right pair of glasses along with the quality eye care you deserve can be expensive, but not at Ideal Vision where for a limited time you can get a complete pair of glasses for just $49.95. And right now that includes our comprehensive eye exam. Ideal Vision is where quality meets affordability from an on-site optical laboratory making same-day eyeglasses available to hundreds of designer frames from the brands you want, all with the lowest prices guaranteed. We are here for you and your family's vision needs. Call or stop in today at Ideal Vision. You'll be glad you did. It's time for Thunderbolt football. Let's get ready for kickoff. St. Augustine, with St. Augustine just taking the uh, extending their lead 21 7 with a seven yard run by their stud running back, Mr. Kanye Udo. Kanye Udo. Kicking for St. Augustine Prep is number uh, 39, Brandon Bispo. Back deep, uh, freshman sensation Lazier Brooks and Na Naeem Sharp. Goes to Go Brooks. Goes to Brooks this time. Let's see what can happen. He's electric with the ball in his hands. What happened there? Good use of a stiff arm. That's what happened. No flag there. So 304 left in the half. Millville will take the ball. On their own 29 yard line. Coach Thomas talking to his team. I know he'd like to get a score now with three minutes left in the half. Yeah, definitely have to make this be a uh, one, one possession game. Get some form of points on the board here. Trips left, open it up. Bust somebody loose. Name Sharp. Bowman, the, the, the wide receiver on an island over here. A little bit of a fumble snap. Gets it off. Pass caught. Leave to number three, Thomas Smith. Smith has very steady hands, Tony. Very good. Deepus and Smith, very steady. Inhale. Now we're on the Millville 47 yard line. 18 yard pickup. First and 10, 214 left. Trips right. Give the ball to the Allen. Allen up the Sees middle. The there you go. Nice Pick job by our line there, staying on their blocks and, and Allen being patient. Eight yard pickup, second down and two. Clock is ticking. We're at the two minute mark. Trips right. At first down with another seven yard pickup by LaQuinn Allen for our hurry up offense. Minute 45 left. Trips left. See so if you're going to go prevent, we're going we're gonna to give LaQuinn the ball. Robbins out, rolls out. Ooh, over, over Thomas Smith's head. Stops the clock at a minute and 30. Well, always hard as a quarter, right-handed quarterback rolling to your, your, uh, your left, very left hand side to throw. throw that. Yeah, but it was a smart play because if you didn't make it, throw it out of bounds, stop the yeah, clock. Yeah, being outside of the, the tackle box, absolutely. Cephas back in. If uh, Smith out. Uh, Cephas Sharp and uh, Bowman. And Brooks out there on the island. Allen, the carry. Okay. Right, call timeout now. Bill Bill calls. No, he call timeout. First down. Clock keeps going. Stop the clock to get set. Allen up the middle again. <laughs> Uh, 
That'll be a timeout by Millville with a minute and 11 left in the half. Driving the ball down the field on our own, on the St. Augustine 25 yard line. So we're making a good drive. And I think yeah, we, need, we need a score right here, Coach. Yeah, absolutely. You need to put some form of points on the board here. Coach Thomas just summoned. I saw him uh, yell for German. No. We're back in the action. Again, minute eleven. Minute eleven left. Coach Thomas talking to his lineman, Edison Andino, Jr. Bowman Sharp and Smith split to the right with Brooks, the freshman, with a five-yard cushion. Looks are right. off. Incomplete. The fans politicking for a flag there. Intended for Bowman. Minute and five left. That play took six seconds. Third and seven. Do you run the ball here, Tony? You might want to get a chunk. You're in four, four down territory. You got a minute and five left. You got a little timeout. Maybe it's a good idea to put it in Quint Allen's hands. Let's see how many people they put in the box now. The, 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 the field's shorter now. Yeah. Looks like St. Augustine knew that was happening. We'll call another timeout. Mm -hmm. No timeout here. Not sure we have, have one left. Should be a big play here. 39 seconds left. Look for like a smoke and go pattern, maybe, or where Robin's trying to. We gotta make it. We gotta, we gotta snap the ball soon. 25 seconds left. St. Augustine didn't like the, the set, so they called timeout. The stoppage of the play with 26.5 seconds left. This is a crucial play, Jason, with a four. Fourth and eight. It gives us time to think about it. Yeah, the, bolt, the bolts score. If the bolts are able to put points on the board and score here, it gives them a lot of momentum going into the halftime. You know, the prep stops. They got you know two touchdown lead, and they were able to get a big defensive stop on you know the other side of the field. So we're going trips left here. Crucial play. 26.5 seconds left. Sprint out. out. Throws it up to Brooks. Intercepted off. Uh. Interception there by uh, number nine, Kenneth Selby. Selby's been killing us today with 14 seconds left in the half. Interception. Bolts have to be smart here, and you know if they run, if the prep does actually run a play, make sure that they're they're tackling and not allowing anything behind them. You can't afford to give up any points here. They call another timeout.
So we're going to stay with you here. We have, we have a, on, on the official clock 9.8 seconds left. Score 21 to 7 in favor of St. Augustine. Had to give St. Augustine some credit. They controlled the ball and moved the ball down the field in, in chunks. Definitely controlled the time of possession, that's for sure. We've had a couple penalties not go our, our way. This might be the final play of the half. It is. Takes a knee. And that concludes the first half of the Millville St. Augustine football game with the score 21 to 7 in favor of St. Augustine. And we'll take a commercial timeout and then we're going to give you a treat with our award winning Millville Thunderbolt Band. Stay tuned. I think the key that I have is I love to help people. And this is an opportunity to give back to the community. This community is important to me. And bringing people from all walks of life together is important to me. The myriad of, of opportunities I've had equipped me to bring forth solutions for a city that I fell in love with. And I've been working so closely to the community, I have a connection with them. If you know my team and Team Quinn, we are all committed to the community. We're ready and we're poised to take Millville to the next level. Now is the time. It's your time to experience Liberty Village too. Call 856-765-3334 today and schedule your appointment to come out and tour our model home and the Liberty Village sites. Hurry, homes are selling fast. This is your chance to get into one of South Jersey's most sought after 55 and over active adult communities. Liberty Village too. 856-765-3334. At Mintz Insurance, we're proud to have been serving our customers for nearly 80 years, offering 30 different insurance products for your auto, home, and business. And to help ensure that you're getting the best rates possible, we give you up to three quotes for every policy, so you can choose what's right for you. At Mintz, we're part of the community, local representatives, supporting events, and proud of it. It's part of who we are. Mintz Insurance. Call today and find out how we can help you save on insurance, or visit us at mintzinsurance.com. And now, back to the game.
located at 1014 North High Street in Millville, is celebrating 30 plus years of success serving the community. Dr. Beebe, Dr. Doyle, and Dr. Fresh treat a variety of health conditions with a full service facility, featuring x-rays on site by a licensed radiographic technician, computerized muscle analysis, chiropractic manipulations, rehabilitative exercises, and a diet and weight loss program. Call their friendly staff at 856-327-0320 for an appointment today. Thunderbolt Area Federal Credit Union is your hometown team for banking. We offer banking which is small town focused and customer based. We know you and we are for you. Thunderbolt Area Federal Credit Union.
Federal Credit Union, 1601 Cedar Street. Hi, I'm Bob Millard, President of Thunderbolt Area Federal Credit Union. Come see us and experience banking as it used to be. It's a celebration, smiles are everywhere. Happiness and joyful times with all the love and care. Tim Grove, races, creates happy faces. 
Tingle, bracelet, creates happy faces. Smile, smile, all because Tingle took good care of us. Smile, smile, all because they'll turn your frown into a smile. At Complete Care, we are patients serving patients. I choose to bring myself and my children to Complete Care because we are a one-stop shop. We use dental, we use medical. I feel as though the quality of care here is great. I love working here. I feel great to work at a place that serves the community. There's a lot of people in need. To me, patients, serving patients means we've been in your shoes. We know what great care means to us and we want to provide that for you. What makes Inspiro innovative? The latest in surgical robotics. What makes us indispensable? Our nationally acclaimed breast center specializing in reconstructive surgery. What makes us incomparable? Our national award-winning and comprehensive orthopedic center. It's in the people. It's in the legacy. It's in the network. Inspira Health Network. In it for you. Need something fixed? Think Latour Hardware and Garden Center, your best bet for reliable and lasting repairs. For over 30 years, Latour has been the expert in small engine repairs, lawnmower repairs, blade sharpening, screen and window repair, glass cutting, generator maintenance, and power tool repairs. Latour services all major brands, and whether you visit the store or take advantage of Latour's pickup and delivery service, you'll know your job is being done right. Think hardware. Think Latour Hardware and Garden Center. Come on in and get started. Are you ready to find your fit at Rowan College of South Jersey? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. To find my fit. In human resources. In engineering technology. In healthcare. With six divisions that include more than 100 degree and certificate programs, RCSJ gives you the choice to find a future that fits your goals. Visit rcsj.edu forward slash enroll to start today. I'm Bart Feldman and this is TNF Camera. We are a full line photographic studio and camera store. We invite you to come in and take a look at the products and services that we provide from youth sports, high school sports, school pictures, and a wealth of photographic equipment. The advantages of coming to a store is you have the ability to talk to people and see exactly what you want to purchase beforehand. It's TNF Camera, 1362 South Delsey Drive here in Vineland. It's time for Thunderbolt football. Let's get ready for kickoff. And we're back to the Millville St. Augustine football game with the score 21 to 7. We're going to be entering the third quarter. We just had a fantastic show by our Millville Thunderbolt fan. I'm with Coach uh, Jason Kessler. Up, coach, what do you think of the first half? I think that the prep uh, did a good job with controlling the line of scrimmage. The Thunderbolts need to, you know, be in, in this this game. They need, need to uh, really lower their pad level uh, and you know get some play, you know, tackles for loss. These long yard situations where we're on offense uh, definitely not helping our cause. Yeah, their their line is winning. You know, is winning the uh, the war of attrition here on, on the line, and I think that um, it'd be interesting to see what Coach Thomas uh, is going to do, what the game plan is going to look like for the second half. Yeah, knowing the, that they control the quint. Uh, at the end of the second half, they went to prevent defense, and we, we we got some chunks with the quint running. But besides that last drive, we really didn't get much on the ground. Yeah, the. Uh, Hopefully, defensive adjustment. We're looking at you know the, that motion and then pull, pulling either you know their, their guard as well as that H back. Uh, that having Udo you know, run that direction almost every time they haven't ran a counter yet. They're probably lulling us into sleep on that. Eventually, we're going to have some form of counter, but uh, definitely need to you know not let them outflank us there. And then on defense, uh, they did they did. Uh, Get some chunks with those little short passes and runs, uh, little little bubble screens and and whatnot. So we gotta we gotta press. Our corners need to press 
And we had a couple. We had a couple times where we we had them, and we just didn't wrap up with with tackling. So you know, hopefully, we do a little bit better job uh, tackling this half, as well as uh, you know, playing with better pad level. So the score is twenty-one to seven in favor of St. Augustine. And uh, the other the other the other piece of this is uh, penalties. So we'll we'll start the half with the ball. Yeah, we can't we we can't just keep giving them field position uh, with that and getting in a, a a punting situation like we have been. Yep. So Brandon Bispo will kick off. Six foot, one hundred and fifty five pounds. Kick off on the forty yard line. It looks like Brooks and Sharp will be back deep uh, for return. Temperatures drop quite a bit now. More like a September football game now. Everybody got seated down, and the prep will kick off. Yeah, it's gotten down to 63 degrees currently. Fans are yelling OBG. We need that spark. 21 to save. 21 to seven. In favor of St. Augustine. Fielded by Brooks. Kenneth Selby with the tackle on Brooks. Our sideline's a little quiet. We're going to get a little noise going. Football is an emotional game. <coughs> Coach Thomas huddles up his team, calls in the play. You'd li like to see a shot down the field here early on to test them. We yeah. got man to man on this side. Hit off to Allen up the middle for a couple. So we started the ball on our own 27 yard line. It's on, the, it's on the, I mean, 22-yard line. It's on the 25. Pick up of three yards. Brooks checking into the game in that split wide. Now on the left-hand side. Yeah, Shawnee uh, put double coverage on Brooks the whole game, but it freed up the other the other half, the other other 10 men on offense. Yeah, absolutely. Did, did, did wonders for the running game as well, rolling that safety over the top like they did. And big hit there by Prep of sure hands of Tyon Cephas, always steady. So we take it from the 25 to the 36, gain of 11 yards. We're back in our typical base spread set. Coach Thomas is calling the plays. Fumbled snap there wisely you know, by LaQuinn Allen getting on the ball. It seems like every time we get momentum, Tony, we, you know, we have you know a little hiccup here or there, whether it's a penalty or a fumbled snap. Yes, sir. it's happening all game. Second and twelve, loss of loss of two. Well, they're rolling the safety back. They're going to run out near side. Good play call. That's a first down to the 51 yard line. Pick up of about 17 yards on that play. That'll be first down. We got 10 18 left in the third quarter. Score 21 to 7. In favor of St. Augustine. High snap. Underpass to Bowman. Bowman picks up about a yard. Okay, we're going to move it. We're setting up again. 
No change in personnel for the prep. Spread offense. Under to Bowman again, same play. He takes it to, it looks like he takes it to the 46 yard line of the prep. It'll bring third down and about seven. His starting half up front, the number 53, Marcus Offer on the left hand side tackle. Good sure handed catch there by number three, Tom Smith. Hale checking into the game for Cephas. Smith coming off looking like he has a cramp. Pick up of about 12 yards on the play. We're on the 33 yard line. Entering the game, number 28, Bryce Sear Hummel. I like Bryce Sear. He definitely he hits that hole very quickly. A little bit of confusion there with the Millville offense. You know, we have LeQuinn Allen split on the inside. Look, look for us to look for him. Nice under pattern, possibly. No, nope. fumble, fumble. Go right into the hands of St. Augustine. And number 55, Brady Small with defensive yeah, line. Yeah, he's not playing small today, that's for sure. Yeah. He's you know, cr disrupted a lot of plays. So I think we had a good promising drive there. Uh, put the ball on the ground. That's the third time we put the ball on the ground today and the first time we lost it. 8.44 left in the third quarter to score 21-7 to in favor of St. Augustine. Just recovered a fumble. It'll be first and 10. The twins left here. It's going to go to Udall here and I back. Go back. Late flag. flag on the play. Looks like it's on St. Augustine, holding on St. Augustine. So that's a blessing for us because you dog took us for a ride there. Was a tackle by, looked like our freshman Brooks with the tackle. <coughs> so it's at the spot of the foul, so it's going to be first and 15. Thomas McClear with the play. They like going to that number four, Nazir Hill. Okay. And we're going to chunk it with Udo. He takes it four out of bounds. Mm -hmm. About the... St. Augustine, 33-yard line. He picks up about only about four, about four or five yards. Second down and about 11. Really need a spark of energy, Tony, here on defense. Uh, just seem a little you know, flat. Yeah, because they put the ball in the air. We need, we need a pick. We need an interception. I don't think they're gonna they're gonna beat us as I play their right hand side. Motion know, the counter counter coming back just like we thought eventually, but we sniff it out. The host of the middle tacklers. That's a thunderbolt defense right there. That's how you know we're doing well. We're hitting on all cylinders. So it's third down, critical play. You know Saint Saint Augustine is not gonna wanna uh, give us good field position. So this will be it should be a one play series left down here. We're not gonna go four downs here. 
some substitutes in on, in on the defensive line. Uh, number 54, Kevin White, as well as number 57, Darian uh, Blackowitz. Yeah, because when they have Walker in, that's usually that he usually has that pulling, he usually pulling a lead blocker. So it's going to be a it's going to be a pass. We have to press. See, we're we're too far off the line there. Too far off the line. We have a flag on the play. I'll take a little back another five yards of legal procedure. So that'll be third down and 15. So we got Hale out at the far corner and Cephas on the near side. We'll see what kind of play they have here. They might even put Udall in a play here. We'll see. Drops back to pass. Slings it out. Oh, oh drop ball. Drop Thank ball there, there by uh, number four, Nasir Hill. Yeah. He likes Nasir Hill. So that's what we needed after a fumble recovery. Six forty-three left in the third quarter. St. Augustine will punt the ball on fourth and fifteen. They're on their own twenty-eight yard line, twenty-nine yard line. Really would like to see somebody sell out for a block here. Oh, close! It's a high. Okay, get away. Just get away from it. Oh, on a favorable bounce for the prep. Yeah, but I still like to. I like us on our our own forty-four yard line to start off. So uh, the thing is, we we fumbled back in the. Uh, we lost net about 30, 25, 30 yards from that fumble. So, got the ball back with 6.34 left. Illegal procedure on the St. Augustine. Augustine. Yep. So, it's 44. What do they do now? First down. First and 10 for our bolts. These refs like to throw the ball around this crew. Five yard penalty tacked on to the uh, to the punt. So we'll take it on the 49 yard line. Again, 634 left in the third quarter with the score 21 to 7 in favor of St. Augustine over our Millville Thunderbolts. <laughs> Trips right. Freshman Brooksland split out left. Allen in the backfield. Well, they're gonna they're gonna give it to LaQuint. They're gonna string that out. And we get nothing on that. That's a loss of a, a yard on the play, maybe two. Yeah, the, the the defensive line for the prep there just got such a such a push there and strung, strung out the play to the outside. Never never really gave a crease to Allen to break free. Robbins rolls out left. Comes back to the right hand side. Scramble look for some downfield. That's Big throw back run. back. Flags that on the was play. A, that was Oh, no, he did get from behind him. Looked like his head was in front. Yeah, they might be calling defenseless this player in there. You don't know. It's going to take us back now. Yeah. 
Little girl faithful getting a little anxious now. Not happy about that one. Wow. Be second down and ten. Twenty. Twenty five. Second down and twenty five. Maybe a screen here, Tony. Ooh, drops back to He's pass. open. Ooh. Pass intended to number six, Naheem Sharp. Incomplete. Third down and 25. Just can't, can't put it together right now. So when when I used to coach the defensive line in, in a situation like this, Tony, we would be looking for you know a screen or a draw play to happen and we'll see what Coach Thomas does. He leaves him in, back to Sharp. Sharp almost gets it off his hands, tightly covered by two prep defenders. Yeah, that does here. Hill's a good player and, and the quarterback. Thomas McClear. McClear playing both ways. So Robbins will be back to punt. 5-12 left in the third quarter. The fourth down and 34. The high snap. Gets it off. Ooh, that's cool. oh. It's all right. Down off number 14, Kayshawn Jones. Now they have good field position now on, the, on their own 43-yard line. You've been asking for a, tur a turnover all, all night, Tony, and this is, this is where you really, really need it. You, you need some, a bad snap, a fumble, an interception. With how tightly he can test this game and how difficult it's been to score. Yeah, hell out, hell out wide. It's going to be a run. Yeah. Keeper. Mm -hmm. Classic wing T. You know, all these wing T plays can be done in the shotgun. Pick up of about four yards, second and six, second and six. Hugo with the carry. He's getting daylight there. Brought down by LaQuinn Allen. Over 30 yard run by Udo. First down and 10 for St. Augustine. Yes, penalties are killing us. And also that fumble. And the clock's ticking. We have four minutes left in the third quarter. So we got 14 point deficit. They're on our 20-yard line. The prep gets away with a hold there. 
pick up a little short of 10, about nine yards. It'll be second down and short. And we have a bye next week, so we had this game, then a bye again. So that, that forfeit against Highland, I think, is has, a, has had an impact on the team. There's something to say about, you know, staying in rhythm. Yeah, exactly. Plus, you have to give credit to the prep. I mean, this is one, one of the biggest fronts that they faced on both the offensive and defensive line side. And you got a very talented, you know, running back in Hudo, and they're just you know, trying to eat up the time of possession. So we're going to have a measurement. Always laughed at that measurement. Do they really think it was that close? <laughs> By their eye. So, uh, where do you think the play is going to go? Yeah, uh, right back to Udo. That's their bread and butter. And we're not stopping it. We haven't proven that we can stop it consistently yet, so they're not going to go away from it. Yeah, split out twins right. Go to go back. Four down linemen there. Shoot it out. Kenyon German in there for a tackle. Clock is ticking with 2.50 left. 21 to 7 in favor of St. Augustine. Our hometown, Millville Thunderbolts, looking for a play. Yes, we are looking for a play from our Thunderbolts. Again, in our goal line defense. Motion to the right, bad Almost. snap. McLear gets it. And we wrap it. It's good for, a, for no game. It'll be third down. So we're definitely in four down territory. And we'll see if uh, what Lane said calls now. I believe all the way down here, Tony, with them having a two touchdown uh, lead, you know, you're saying. You, Potentially, you know, call a running play for Udo. If he breaks it three, that's great. If not, you set up good position for your field goal kicker. Yeah, Put more have, points you know, on the board. They have a pretty good kicker. This is definitely well within his range. So will be a timeout. We'll take a break in the action with the score 21 to 7 with a minute and 27 seconds left. Score in favor of St. Augustine. Be right back. Great pair of glasses along with the quality eye care you deserve can be expensive, but not at Ideal Vision where for a limited time you can get a complete pair of glasses for just $49.95. And right now that includes our comprehensive eye exam. Ideal Vision is where quality meets affordability from an on-site optical laboratory making same-day eyeglasses available to hundreds of designer frames from the brands you want, all with the lowest prices guaranteed. We are here for you and your family's vision needs. Call or stop in today at Ideal Vision. You'll be glad you did. And now, back to the game. We're back in the action. Third down. And long. Passes incomplete over the head 
of number five, Dennis Jacquez. It'll be fourth down and long, and they're going to bring out the kicker. Bisbo. Need to get somebody off the field for Melville. And we finally do. We've got our kick block unit on. You can see Teron Hale just checked into the game. A snap. Low. It's good. So with the field goal, the score becomes 24 to 7 in favor of St. Augustine. And we're going to take a commercial timeout. We'll be right back. That I have is I love to help people. And this is an opportunity to give back to the community. This community is important to me. And bringing people from all walks of life together is important to me. The myriad of, of opportunities I've had equip me to bring forth solutions for a city that I fell in love with. And I've been working so closely to the community, I have a connection with them. If you know my team and Team Quinn, we are all committed to the community. We're ready and we're poised to take Millville to the next level. Now. It's time for Thunderbolt football. Let's get ready for kickoff. Off to Millville. We got a minute and 18 left in the third quarter. The score is 24 to 7 in favor of St. Augustine. They just kicked a about a 17 yard field goal. 20 yard field goal. Bispo back to kick. Rooks and Sharp back deep for Millville. See if Millville is able to get a good return here. High end over end. Brooks with the ball. Cuts up the middle. Like. Flag on the play. Looks like it's going to be a face mask against St. Augustine. So we should get the ball on the 50-yard line. Coming up, we've got it on the 35 plus 15. We'll be right at, at midfield. And the official indicates a face mask against St. Augustine. Minute and 10 left in the third quarter. Score 24 to 7 in favor of St. Augustine. So we have a spread offense again. A little under to Brooks. Brooks picks up about eight yards. We're going hurry up offense. We'll be back in the spread. Smith in motion to the right. Hand off to Allen. Nice run. Nice run by Allen. Off, bounced it off tackle. The first down for Millville. So we're on the 35 arc, uh, the St. Augustine 35 yard line. We're back in the hurry up offense. We got trips right. Single wide out left, back to back to Allen. Little business there. Need to keep our composure. Third, under 30 seconds left in the quarter. We're trying to get one more play left by the end of the quarter. We've gone to the short side of the field, you know, two plays in a row here. Looks off. 
just Ball's too high for Sharp. 12.8 seconds left in the quarter. He's third down. And about six yards. Big play here. Offside. So that's it. Offside on number 51. 51. Asher Jenkins. So that's going to help us big time now. So that changes the complexion of that play. Now it's going to be about third and about a yard. That's the Quint Allen territory. Subbing into the game uh, for St. Augustine is number 22, Franklin Sims on the defensive line. There we go. They're calling the play here. Should go to should go to Allen here. We're gonna go motion Smith right. motion. Uh, motion the movement on the line by Melville will take us back five yards now. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Goes back to third and six now. Thomas Smith motion right. Got trips right. That trips short side of the field there. Run the falling out. Run the flood route. So he picks up a chunk there. Typically want to play like that to the open side of the field the field, not a lot of room. So it's fourth and short with nine seconds left. It's been a long end of the third quarter. Score 24 to 7 in favor of St. Augustine. Allen takes it in for a game. He sees daylight. Pu pushed push by his teammates there. Look right at that. Forward. Look. Now. That's the momentum changer we needed. A little bit of that Reggie Bush push there. That's why he's a team leader. That's the end of the third quarter with the score 24-7 in favor of St. Augustine. We're going to take a commercial timeout. It's your time to experience Liberty Village too. Call 856-765-3334 today and schedule your appointment to come out and tour our model home and the Liberty Village sites. Hurry, homes are selling fast. This is your chance to get into one of South Jersey's most sought after 55 and over active adult communities. Liberty Village 2, 856-765-3334. And now, back to the game. And we're back. Uh, it's our fourth quarter. The score is 7 for your Miller Thunderbolts and 24 for St. Augustine Prep. But the bolts are about to strike here under the uh, the legs of LaQuinn Allen and his teammates, you know, forcing him down the field. That was excellent play to end the third quarter. Hopefully we can get some points on the board here. So to start the the fourth quarter, we have two trips left. St. Augustine with a four-man front. Allen with a handoff. Tackled down by number 55 of St. Augustine Prep, which is Brady Small. We've heard his name a lot today. Trips left. Robin's back. He's 
Scrambles. Uh. Brought brought down by number 22 of the, of the prep, which is Franklin Sims, the 6'1", 230-pound uh, senior. Clock is ticking. 10.50 left in the fourth quarter. Trips left the sprint out by Robbins. Incomplete. Too, too high for Sharp there. Thomas electing to put his field goal unit out there. Meet Jason Ramis, Jr. Freshman Zamat, the holder. Ball's on the 18 yard line, so it'll be a 28 yard field goal attempt by Jason Ramis. And it's good. 28-yard field goal by Ramis. Puts the score at 24-10 in, fa in favor of St. Augustine, but closes the lead to two touchdowns. And with 10-33 left in the game, we'll take a commercial timeout. We're proud to have been serving our customers for nearly 80 years, offering 30 different insurance products for your auto, home, and business. And to help ensure that you're getting the best rates possible, we give you up to three quotes for every policy, so you can choose what's right for you. At Mintz, we're part of the community. Local representatives, supporting events, and proud of it. It's part of who we are. Mintz Insurance. Call today and find out how we can help you save on insurance. Or visit us at MintzInsurance.com. It's time for Thunderbolt football. Let's get ready for kickoff. And we're back. Tony Trongo with Jason Kessler. We're in the fourth quarter with 10.33 left with the score 24 St. Augustine, 10 for Millville. Millville will just score it on the field goal. Brandis with the kick, it's low. Fielded by number nine, Kenneth Selby. Up the left-hand side, Selby, and out of bounds. It's about the 47-yard line, so good, good field. Can, uh, can. Good field position here, 45-yard line. Great night for football. Fans are out. High expectations for our Millville Thunderbolt team. Had a decent story on our our freshman tackles in the paper. Number 55, number 57, Darian Blackowitz. And also Mr. Offer. We had number 53, Marcus Offer. They've had the they've work cut out for him today. There you go. Nice good nice tackle, tackle in, the in the backfield. There by number 28, Bryce Sear Hunter. Yeah, Bryce Sear's tough. We have a player down. Looks like a hamstring by Udo. So we'll, we'll take a commercial timeout. We'll be right back. 
Chiropractic Center, located at 1014 North High Street in Millville, is celebrating 30 plus years of success serving the community. Dr. Beebe, Dr. Doyle, and Dr. Fresh treat a variety of health conditions with a full service facility featuring x rays on site by a licensed radiographic technician, computerized muscle analysis, chiropractic manipulations, rehabilitative exercises, and a diet and weight loss program. Call their friendly staff at 856 327 0320 for an appointment today. And now, back to the game. It would have been his calf. He pulled a hamstring. And we're back. I uh, want to thank one of our sponsors, uh, Millville Chiropractic, and Dr. Beebe, Dr. Doyle, and Dr. Fresh do a great job you know, servicing all our chiropractic needs in the city of Millville. And take advantage of the, their services at Millville Chiropractic Center. Also, I'd like to thank one of our other sponsors, Latour Hardware on 1607 South Delsey Drive. Get your bolts and nuts at Latour Hardware. <laughs> so, Tony, who, who do the bolts have coming up in their schedule this, the rest of the way this season? I believe well, they have... Uh, well, they uh, have... Uh, a break next week, and they're going to have Hamilton the week after, then Williamstown. So it doesn't get any easier. We have a, the, probably one of the tough schedules around, then Lenape and then Byland. So uh, Coach Thomas will have the week to make any corrections and get ready for Hamilton. And, and they're a similar team to uh, this team here, maybe more of a running a wing tee at Hamilton. And then Williamstown. Uh, they're, they're a little bit on the downslope from previous years. That Hamilton game will be at home, and Williamstown will be away. So we got 9.55 left in the game. Score 24-10. With our three-man front, Bryce here, Hunter walked up. Keeper. Pick up of about six yards. For number 14, Dr. Thomas McClear. I think, I think Udall, Udall had to come out of the game. He had a little bit of hamstring pull. That could, that could help us. Bill Bill Crown getting it up right now. It's getting loud. Big play here. Third and a long five, or third and six. And uh, usually they'll do a little short pass. Riley Liskar had a little bit of pep to a step there. We're, we're playing him off a little too much. Motion by Liskar. Well, Liskar is open. A pickup of about eight yards for the first down. <laughs> So with 8.50 left in the game, it's first and 10. we got to get the ball back and put some more points on the, on the scoreboard if we're going to win this game. Not only the score, but also time is not on our side right now. No, they've c controlled possession for far too long in this game. We need a, you know, a big turnover here, Tony. Twins left, single wide receiver motion. Motion. Keeper again by McClear. So that's what they're doing. Uh, Udall's out probably for the remainder of the game. Looks like it, he pulled a hamstring. <clears throat> so they go to McClear for the keeper. He's the second down in about three. Seven fifty left in the game. There's Nazir Hill out, out wide. Tyron hit Hale is covering him. Handoff. Handoff number twenty two, Franklin Sims. <laughs> 
Now, n another pivotal play. Kenyon German calm down. Lumper's got to calm down, but he's going to make a play. They got their top back out of the game. They're on the they're on our side of the field on the, on the Millville 45. We, this is where we got to make a play. Clock is ticking. 6:50 left in the game. Keeper again by McClear. Ah. Tackle, tackle by number 17, Lazier Brooks. And I believe Jaden Wright, I believe, was involved in on that tackle. And McClear got the first down. Though. That kills us. That moves the chains for St. Augustine. Takes it to the... 41 yard line of Millville, first down and 10. Udo back in the game, handoff left side, stuffed by the Millville tacklers. So our backers came up. Our our, our line held held their held their end. That's how we got to play the run. So it's second down and a long nine. Clock is ticking. Five minutes and thirty seven seconds left in the game. Motion left. Keeper again on McClear. We're not learning on that play. Tackle by number 17, Lazier Brooks. Another first down. McClear there, starting to feel himself a little bit and signaling first down. Flag on the play. We don't need anything on our side right now. That illegal substitution. And the clock keeps on ticking here, and obviously the prep being smart here, and you know, not rushing any of the plays, you know, taking their time, making sure they get the proper call. You know, highly unlikely they're going to put the ball in the air here. It's going to go to you, Dolph. Yep, and you're going to have a trap play coming this side. Yep, comes around, tackled by German. <laughs> They'll take their time. I'm wondering if Coach Thomas will call a timeout. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, you, you got to get your defense to, you know, at this point go for go for a strip anytime that you have anybody in the vicinity of the ball. Second down and nine. Three minutes and 48 seconds left in the game. St. Augustine taking their time. They're going to take their full allot allotment. The back judges. I think we're going to start swiping. Go! Go! You do. Nice. So we don't need any loss on the play. It'll be third down in about 13. Mm-hmm. 
Coach Thomas called the timeout. I'd like to thank our sponsors, Ideal Vision, Main Road Shopping Center, Byron. And he's our Millville Public Schools eye doctor, real nice guy. We got Latour Hardware, 1607 South Tennessee Drive, Byron. And our new sponsor, TNF Camera Shop, 1362 South Delphi Drive in Vineland. Thank you for our sponsors, along with Allen Associates. Take good care of our employees at school. In Millville Chiropractic, and Dr. Beebe, Dr. Doyle, and Dr. Fresh. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Rob Connor and uh, Bob Connor at Mintz Insurance. Yep, can't, can't thank them enough. Tim Brook Orthodontist. The Tim Brook family. So we're back in the action. 314 left. In the game. Score 24 to 10. Third and eight. St. Augustine gets set. And, uh, Loading up on the right side of the line here. But they're going to clear has time. Now, throws it out of bounds. Uh, that helps us to stop the clock at 3.03. Brings up fourth down. And now they're going to think about what they're going to do because they're on the 30 yard line. Clock appears to be reset at 3.05. Again, St. Augustine will take in their time to get set, even though the clock has stopped. And they're going to run a play on fourth down. So we're down by two scores. This could be the game right here. Motion right. We're clear with the ball. Back. Ah. Hill with the catch. Pass complete to number four, Nasir Hill, the Princeton commit. And he's, the real, he's the real deal. Take it to the four yard line. And the clock will run. And I think that's going to call for the night for us, Coach. Yeah, I think this is, you know, this is it for our Thunderbolts uh, tonight. I have to go back to the drawing board uh, next week. we got two weeks until Hamilton. And, and Hamilton plays ground and pound, wing tee, offense, run, run, run the ball. I think yeah. our, our speed will help us. Our, our kids are older than they were last year. We played them tough last year. Yeah, I'm sure Coach Thomas and his staff will, you know, take a look at this tape and, you know, look, look at the areas they need to improve uh, going forward to get themselves ready for the playoffs. Udall smells it, and he's in for a touchdown. Score 30 to 10 with just over two minutes left in the game. Kick is good. The score is 31 to 10 with 204 left 
We'll take a commercial timeout. Probably our last one. We'll be back shortly. Federal Credit Union is your hometown team for banking. We offer banking, which is small town focused and customer based. We know you and we are for you. Thunderbolt Area Federal Credit Union is a nonprofit and federally insured. Solid as a Thunderbolt airplane, we are your team. Thunderbolt Area Federal Credit Union, 1601 Cedar Street. Hi, I'm Bob Millard, President of Thunderbolt Area Federal Credit Union. Come see us and experience banking as it used to be. It's, a it's time for Thunderbolt football. Let's get ready for kickoff. We're just back from the from a, a scorebook from St. Augustine. We're going to have a it scores thirty-one to ten in favor of St. Augustine. Two minutes and four seconds left in the in the game. Back deep for the, the Bolts is again Lazier Brooks, Naeem Sharp. Fielded by Sharp. Brings up the left side. Spins into two tacklers. Brought down around the 25-yard line. By number one. So what do you think, Jason? What do we need to work on? What do you think of the game? Uh, I think that the, the prep uh, did a really good job today with, you know, con controlling the possession of the ball and running the ball. Uh, need to work on our, some of our run defense. Uh and, you know, the, they were just a, a lot bigger than, than us up front. I think that definitely played a factor in, in, the, in the game. And controlling the line of scrimmage. scrimmage. I mean, you win the battle in the trenches, more than likely, often or not, you're going to you know, win, win the game. But now and now bounce for a small, small game. This is, you know, invaluable experience uh, for our team. Uh to get ready for for the playoffs um the prep obviously has a lot of talented athletes uh with you know dennis jaquez uh you know that's he has 28 tackles is going to northwestern the Sear hill going to princeton and uh, kanye uday the running back uh was leading, was leading south jersey in uh rushing you know, the having looks at Maryland, Nebraska, and Rutgers. Um, but we, we have a lot of talent. We have a lot of experience, even though we have, you know, lot, some young players and some key positions. Um, but we have a lot of sophomores. We have Hale. We have fre the freshman tackles. We have the freshman Brooks. Brooks. The, you know, with the, you know, quite a few, you know. Top Bryce here, Bryce here Hunter is a 10th grader for, for us. Um, have, you know, quite a bit, bit of uh, – Young guys out there playing big time games. Screen set up to Allen. Allen gets some blockers in front of him. Allen getting out in the open field. Brought, brought down around the. Uh, was it about the 38 yard line or so? 30, 37. Clock stop. A minute and 32. Good play by Coach Thomas. And, you know, we're in an empty set with Allen split on the inside. Drops back to pass. Throws it up to Brooks. And touchdown, Thunderbolts. Touchdown, Lazier Brooks. 37-yard touchdown pass. It's good, good to get some positive, you know, you, you, you might you know, you lose the game, but get, get some positive uh, things happening at the end of the game. That ball looked overthrown, and Brooks just closed the gap and 
Yeah, like, he, like Willie Mays with a baseball cap. Yeah, he has second level speed. That's that's for sure. And it, as he gets older and his body matures even even more, you know, he's not going to have you know trouble with guys you know playing press man coverage or having the, those double teams because he's going to be able to out physical a lot of people. He's already a, you know an impressive athlete, and you know as he gets older, it's just going to only get better. Ramis with the kick. It's good. With a minute 19 left, score 31 17 in favor of St. Augustine. It's had a 37 yard pass from our senior Nate Robbins to freshman Lazier Brooks. Millville keeping up with the spirit. I'd like to see that. Proud of our cheerleaders and our band and our football team. thing after the game game here uh tony you know these kids you know look self-reflect and you know, coaches self-reflect but they have to stick to get to, together not point the finger pull the thumb look at themselves uh what could you do to be to be better so that the next time you're playing a team like this they you're you're coming out on a different time what did you have like some of the things the kids said about that while we're doing that we had some quotes that they had right for you didn't you yeah i uh, think Talked to Jaden Wright today, and he, he he had a goal of setting two sacks. You know, they want to win a state championship. You know, they have the mentality of you no, know, it's try to be one or no every week. Um, also said that you know he wrestles and it helps with his balance. We were working on, on double teams, onside kick recovered by the prep. Um, you know, George Gonzalez, inside linebacker and guard, you know, talked about the family atmosphere of the, of the team. So did Nate, uh, quarterback Nate Robbins, uh, you know, really lo- enjoys be- being a part of, uh, of the, this group. They really get along uh, and enjoy each other's company. You interviewed someone that talked about the, key, the keys of the game. Let's go back to that and see if that was the key to the game. Uh, controlling the line of scrimmage, yes. Uh, staying out of uh, long yardage situations, yes, and and the third third quarter, which you know, they possessed the ball for a long portion of that. So all those keys uh, definitely played a factor in tonight's game. So with a minute seventeen left in the game, no Thunderbolt seventeen, Saint Augustine Prep thirty one. Like to thank uh, you know again all of our sponsors, you know, Mint's Insurance, Millville Chiropractic, uh, Thunderbolt Credit Union, Ideal Vision. Oh, no, 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 no. A nine-yard pickup. Timeout, Millville. Tembrook Orthodontics, we want to thank them. Uh, Latour Hardware. It's great that our community supports our athletics. Also, want to you know thank Quinn Broadcasting for you know the opportunity of you know broadcasting uh, part of the student athletes here. You know we we get the. Tony, we get to be, you know be here and you know call, call these games, and uh, Quinn Quinn generously ha- you know has this opportunity to showcase all, these games to all of our our community. So thank you again, Quinn Broadcasting.
Hand off to you, Doe. Also, like to thank our cameraman today, Garrett Suey and Ozzy Mori, and our producer, Ryan Narowski, who puts a lot of time and preparation into uh, having the show that we do. And you can see that we had the camera work from the stands, but also on the field to give our viewers a spectacular experience. Uh, and we want to thank them for their efforts. Thank you very much. This might be the last play of the game. The clear back, the kneel down. And that's going to be it. And the final score is going to be St. Augustine 31, our Millville Thunderbolts 17. This is Tony Trongo along with Jason Kessler saying a uh, great game, St. Augustine, and a tough game for our Thunderbolts, but we're looking forward uh, to two weeks from now, and we'll be back against Hamilton. Uh, good night, everybody, and God bless. Welcome to Liberty Village 2, a 55 and over community of beautifully appointed, well-crafted two-bedroom and three-bedroom homes, all with two full bathrooms. They feature the details you want at a price you can afford. These new construction homes are available at the cost of $154,900 to $200,000 and ranging from 1120 to 1750 square feet. These are not tiny houses. For most people, they are a perfect size. Liberty Village 2 offers four basic designs. The Liberty, the Minnetola, the Landisville, and the Buna. More on each of them in a bit. At this point, most people would be asking, how can I own a newly constructed two or three bedroom, two bathroom home in a beautiful community for less than $200,000? First off, remember, Liberty Village 2 homes start at $154,900 for the 1120 square foot Liberty model. We've been in the housing industry for almost two decades now. We noticed that there weren't any opportunities to purchase a home in a community with excellent services and a minimal monthly expense. So we developed what's called a land lease community where you are buying the home, but not the land. We've already purchased all of the land in Liberty Village 2, so you're buying your home, and as part of a low monthly land lease fee, you're a resident of Liberty Village 2. You might be asking, what does this land lease fee include? 
It includes all water and sewer charges, trash and recycling removal, home sites and community lawn care, and landscaping. The built-in sprinkler irrigation system, along with home site and community snow removal, including driveways and walkways. You get usage of the community center and all common area maintenance. Here's the best part. You won't have to worry about real estate taxes because they're already included in your low land lease fee. So you'll live in a carefree community that always looks pristinely groomed and is professionally maintained. What's not included is simple too, your electric, cable, and gas. Plus, for your peace of mind and the environment, all of our mowing is done by almost silent robotic mowers and electric landscaping equipment. Your lifestyle won't be affected by this ongoing care. Pretty exciting, huh? Here's a look at the Liberty model. Liberty is an 1120 square foot, two bedroom, two bathroom home. You enter into a large living room featuring upscale touches like crown molding and high quality flooring. If you like, as you see here, upgrades like wainscot are available too. Just off the living room with an open design flow, you'll enter the kitchen which has been designed and is excellent for entertaining with the perfect sized island, high quality cabinetry, modern and stylized appliances, all in a tastefully designed color palette. The attention to detail continues with beautiful and durable flooring, functional cabinet space, and a pantry. Just off the kitchen is a lovely morning room, a great place for your dining table and chairs. There's also a finished utility room for your washer and dryer. The master bedroom features an ensuite bathroom. It's a perfect size and is also nicely appointed with a full-sized shower tub, vanity, in your color choice. The adjoining master bedroom is spacious and has a walk-in closet. You'll notice that the upscale touches continue here too with crown and decorative moldings and flooring. The second bedroom is perfect for guests or used as a game room, craft room, or whatever you like. This room includes an ample built-in closet as well. The guest bathroom is also a well-appointed full bath that's functional and tastefully designed. As a bonus, there's a real bonus a second floor unfinished storage area that's the perfect place to organize and store all your stuff so you can easily access it and keep your living space clutter free. And that's the Liberty model. All that starting at only $154,900. Another important thing to mention is that on the outside every home includes tasteful landscaping, a ramped entry, no steps, and all areas of your home are designed with the future in mind. All homes at Liberty Village 2 are customizable from colors, trims, flooring, cabinet colors, and layout customizations. It's your home. You should have it exactly as you want, exclusively at Liberty Village 2. Now is the time. It's your time to experience Liberty Village 2. Call 856-765-3334 today and schedule your appointment to come out and tour our model home and the Liberty Village sites. Hurry, homes are selling fast. This is your chance to get into one of South Jersey's most sought after 55 and over active adult communities. Liberty Village 2, 856-765-3334. Liberty Village 2 is a brand new land lease community in beautiful Buna, New Jersey. Buna is ideally situated to public transportation and is just a few minutes from Vineland. You're close to Philadelphia, the casinos, the Jersey Shore, and so much more. But still in the quiet, professionally maintained and groomed utopia that we call Liberty Village 2. Remember, every home includes tasteful landscaping a ramped entry, and all areas of the home are designed for your future. Plus, exterior maintenance, landscaping care, and so much more are included in your low land lease fee. I gave you a detailed overview of the Liberty Model Home. Let's take a quick look at some of the other options. The Minnetola is a 1,494 square foot, three bedroom, two bath home with the same attention to detail we showed in the Liberty model. A large living room, wide galley kitchen, ample nook, 
and master bedroom with an ensuite bath. The Minnetola also features an unfinished second floor bonus area for storage. The Landisville is a 1,638 square foot home featuring an entry foyer, large living room, open style cook's kitchen, and eating area. There's also a huge game room, which would be perfect for a billiards table or could be used as an expansive den or anything you can imagine. Both bedrooms are large and the master has a walk-in closet and ensuite bathroom. The Landisville also features an unfinished second floor bonus area for storage. Our final design is the Buna. The Buna is a two bedroom, two bath model that features a full one car garage. You enter the home into a spacious foyer, which leads to an open concept living room, dining room kitchen, and nook areas. Both bedrooms are large, and the master has a walk-in closet and ensuite bathroom. The Buna model, like all of our homes, features an unfinished second floor bonus area for storage. As a reminder, all homes at Liberty Village 2 are customizable from colors, trims, floor coloring, cabinet colors, and layout customizations. It's your home. You should have it exactly as you want, exclusively at Liberty Village 2. So at this point, you're probably thinking, what's next? The next step for you is to give us a call and schedule a visit. That's easy. Call 856-765-3334 and we'll find a day and time that are convenient for you to see Liberty Village 2 for yourself. It's an exciting time. This active 55 and over community is in a very active stage itself. We're completing homes and expanding every week as we get closer to selling the final home sites. Liberty Village 2 is limited to 43 home sites, so it has a community's tight, personalized feel. Space is limited and home sites are selling quickly, so schedule your appointment today. Let's take a moment and review the benefits of Liberty Village 2. It features two and three bedroom homes, all with two full bathrooms and huge bonus storage areas. It's a land lease community of quality factory built housing. Liberty Village 2 is in beautiful Buna, a great community next to Vineland and close to Philly, the casinos and the shore. So what are you waiting for? Join us at Liberty Village 2. Now is the time. It's your time to experience Liberty Village 2. Call 856-765-3334 today and schedule your appointment to come out and tour our model home and the Liberty Village sites. Hurry, homes are selling fast. This is your chance to get into one of South Jersey's most sought after 55 and over active adult communities. Liberty Village 2, 856-765-3334.